Hey everyone, we're just going to have a look at the OFC Comet app that might be able to help you in relation to online team sheets. So you'll need to download the app. It looks like this Comet one here. And when you when you first uh, load it up, it needs to say Comet OFC. Now when you press on the username, if you've used once you've used this the first time, it'll save your details. So then um, you'll just have to log in like so. What it'll do assuming that you're linked to just one team it'll show your next matches as you can see here listed on the screen so what i'm going to do is uh, i am going to choose this game towards the bottom here uh, against north end so click on that and from here you can you can see the details of the match so on the away team i would click on the away team up the top here starting line up zero substitute zero uh, team officials you'll see that I've already loaded my team officials and there they are there right now to uh, select a team you push this plus button you go add player and then um, you can just start from the top and add players so I want to add this guy um, he's a goalkeeper so I need to note that and go add he's added to the team uh, this guy added to the team. I want to make the next guy the captain add into the team. Okay, so so on and so forth. If I then click on this guy, and as you'll see, he's loaded as shirt number five, and I want to change his shirt number, click down there on shirt number. Go backwards, give him the new shirt number, and press add. Add it to the team. Now, if I go back one, you'll now see I've got four people in the starting lineup. Okay? If you decide at any point, or if you're at the game, and one of these people needs to, um, well, isn't going to play, push the minus sign, which I didn't do then. Push the minus sign next to their name, and you can delete the entry. Takes them out of the lineup. All right. So, if I'm continuing to add players, now if um, if the next player isn't going to start for you, this guy here, you just take him out of the starting lineup by pressing that button, and press add. So now if we go back out and go back out, you'll see as a substitute, that player is now listed as a substitute. If on the day one of your substitutes doesn't turn up, press the minus button, take him out. Okay, same with your team officials. If one of your team officials isn't going to turn up, take them out. If they do turn back up, add team official go through and add the appropriate team official. It's pretty straightforward. Now, in relation to the players, if I was to click on uh, this guy here, we then get some other options. By pushing the plus button, I can now assign him a goal, a yellow card, red card, temporary dismissal, uh, or that he's taken a penalty. If we were to assign him a goal, it then ask us, asks us at what minute did he score the goal? So I might go through, and if I knew, I could make that the 13th minute, and press add. I am not allowed to execute this at the moment because we're not in the game phase, but that's how you would do it. So that is um, that is the Comet app in a nutshell. Um, what is really um, important to note is all your players must be in a team catalog for you to be able to use this app. Um, speak to your club in relation to making sure you have the, the right access and uh, yeah, best of luck.